those of you who don't know me, I'm Portia Zarea. She writes, inspires, motivates. I'm just an overall encourager. I learned a long time ago that people are just kind of drawn to me. So I've taken that as being my gift and I try to give back as much as possible. So I took my writing on a, on a different kind of journey and I started a blog called Ladies Night Out on Tumblr. And it soon became apparent to me that people are just not reading anymore. And it's really sad. I'm an avid reader. I believe in reading and acquiring as much knowledge as possible. But the truth is, no one's reading. And I'm very adamant about being heard. And not necessarily for recognition or relevance, but more of the importance of the topics that I touch on. And so young people these days, and when I say young people, I'm talking ages 18 to 40. Let's just be real. We have 40-year-old grandparents out there. So these young people these days are being misled. How? Television. They're being fed lies. They're being fed murderous sex escapades. It's crazy out there. They're being fed falsehoods. And so I decided, you know what? I have a vision to tell also. So today's topic is sexy is as sexy does. A woman's sex appeal is not based on how big her breasts is or how big her butt is or the absence of her clothing. A woman is sexy in her confidence, in her ambitions, and her smile. See how sexy a smile can be? Just a simple smile is sexy. I don't recognize sexiness defined as degrading or disrespecting your body or your womanhood. You may lure him with your physique, but you'll only keep him with your self-worth and your self-respect. The female body is so enticing that it really doesn't take much to get attention. I mean, so tell me, why are so many females using their half-naked bodies to get ahead, to achieve, and succeed? Um, why? Have they, sold their have they sold their boundaries and self-worth for a little recognition and monetary glam? I look back on history and I look at the women of old and how they covered themselves up and they were so graceful and it only took a small hint of skin. I mean, her shoulder, her ankle, the side of her neck, just the little, the little bit that she showed had a man on his knees promising her everything that she desired, the moon, the stars, everything. Go to work, work hard, come home. She's still covered up. So, <laughs> it, just, it just baffles me how you think by showing all your goods, that's going to get you where you need to be as a woman. Men don't have that option anymore. They don't have that option of of using their imagination and the suspense of seeing their woman naked they don't, they don't have it anymore because women are not offering it. They're not demanding the respect from these men. And this new age female would rather have likes and vulgar comments on social media sites. And it, it, it's, it's simple, really. Yet, it eludes this modern day female. I'm, I'm just going to be real because to me and there might be people who out there who disagree with me, but to call you a woman is me losing the, using the term loosely because a woman is based off the maturity of her mind and her self-respect and how she carries herself. And so to me, if you're showing half-naked booty pictures all the time and every time you take a picture or post it up, it's the back of you, you a female. You female. Off top, you a female. But for one, me to call you a woman... No. The way men are going to perceive you and act accordingly is based on how you present yourself. 
It's sad that far too many women are ignorant to their self-worth. And these men are taking full advantage of it. God gave us women a very, very powerful weapon. It's called essence. A woman's essence will attract a man automatically. But if you don't have control of your essence and you just distribute it out to everybody who, who, who wants to look and have a have a taste it's like why should they why should they not take advantage of it do i blame the men absolutely not nope i don't because if you change the woman you know where i'm going with this you'll change the man and james brown said it best it's a man's world it is that's the truth that's the reality it's a man's world but the woman sets the tone. We set the tone. We have that control. So show your femininity. Show your sexiness. Just don't lose your woman's worth in the process. Let's tell a vision. Hmm. Let's just make sure it's the right one. Portia Zarea.